Hello and welcome to the Blackouts Fall Quarter Update. I'm Andy Johnston. And I'm Sam Buttress. And here are this quarter's top stories. New research from the Kellogg School of Business shows that early career failures lead to future successes. So, congratulations to the Northwestern football team. Speaking of which, uh, now that Northwestern's officially the number nine college in the nation, when do you think they're going to change those signs to say Chicago's big nine team? Hopefully soon, because it's time that Duke can finally be Chicago's Big Ten team. <laughs> By the way, did you hear that someone recently streaked fully nude across the stage at a One Book, One Northwestern event? No, I didn't. Did that really happen? Well, it probably didn't, but who's going to know? <laughs> Fifteen dorms in Plex flooded over the weekend, marking the first time anyone in Plex has ever been wet. Speaking of people who've never been wet, uh, Andy, are you going to do dance marathon? Probably not this year, it's just not for me. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Uh, doing dance marathon is kind of like borrowing money from a loan shark. Afterwards, all your money is gone and you can't feel your legs. <laughs> Kellogg researchers recently developed a predictive model for terrorism. It flags people who... Huh. Hey, I do that one. <laughs> you do a lot of these, Sam. I do all of these. Every last one. When can we file for a change of roommates? <laughs> President Morton Shapiro announced after two years of operating in a multi-million dollar deficit, the university ended this fiscal year several million dollars in surplus. But hold that thought, Andy. I'm getting word now that we're actually back in a budget crisis. Morty's blockbuster late fees finally caught up to him. Oh, 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 new news coming in. Turns out we're back in a surplus, as President Morton Shapiro has finally claimed his likeness uh, royalties for the Keebler Elf. Uh, hold on, breaking news, we're back in a crisis, as Morty lost his dad's baseball and has to use his own allowance to buy a new one. New words coming hot off the presses. Ouch, too hot off the presses. Morton Shapiro has sold the naming rights of Northwestern University to Little Caesars. So, everyone, Welcome to Little Caesars Hot and Ready $5 University. The new school colors are pepperoni. <laughs> Former press secretary Sean Spicer is on this season of Dancing with the Stars. Meanwhile, the Joker is dancing on the stairs. <laughs> Speaking of shows that have gone on for too long, The Dolphin Show has called off their performance for the first time since 1946 after theater majors complained that there weren't enough parts for human actors. <laughs> the last time the show was canceled was in World War II. You know, because all the dolphins got drafted. <laughs> in other animal news, New Evanston business Knit Your Dog celebrates the art of spinning dog hair into clothing. And you know what, Sam? I gotta say, this new spaniel suit really fits me well. I don't know, my boxer briefs are pretty itchy. <laughs> say, if you can make clothes out of any dog's hair, which dog's hair would you wear? You know, in these trying times, I think there's only one real good answer for what dog I'd turn into a pair of socks. And that's Conan, the hero dog. Recently, in a raid against ISIS, Conan, the German shepherd spec op, captured and killed ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. So this one goes out to you, Conan. Uh, don't speak too soon, Andy. That's not a dog at all. CEO of ISIS Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi actually seduced Conan the dog with a stick of pepperoni and pulled an old switcheroo, applying prosthetics to his face and hands. And now, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is Abu Barker al-Baghdadi, and he's on his way to the White House. Recent protests on campus have advocated to change the name of the John Evans Center, which bears the name of the racist founder of Northwestern University. Unfortunately, Evans' influence affects a number of places on campus, including the well-beloved Kill Your Enemies Dining Hall, Racism is Justified Athletic Center, and Evanston. And finally, in honor of co-education, Northwestern is hosting a celebration called 150 Years of Women. And so, we at the Blackout would like to give a special Fuck You to Women 151 years ago. For Blackout's Fall Quarter Update, I'm Sam Buttress. And I'm Andy Johnston. Come join us for the Blackouts Fall Live Show on December 7th, and we'll see you back here in the winter. Yeah.